If a pint's your preference, though, how about a visit to a Sussex pub where the new decor is going down well with the regulars? It's a mural which they all like because they're all in it. Derek Williamson reports. In Victorian times, the London to Brighton stagecoach, which passed through Cookfield, used to stop at the King's Head. Now, today's customers can study a 100-square-foot mural celebrating those times. A closer study reveals the painting's worst-kept secret. The Victorian ladies and gentlemen gathered around the coach bear a remarkable resemblance to some of today's regulars. While they play darts or pool, or just sup their pints, Victorian likenesses of themselves stare down from the wall. Pub landlady, Georgina Lindley, is portrayed in pink, just about to be helped down from the coach roof. And this is the gentleman she should be meeting, because it's her husband. Or rather, this is Martin Lindley in a more familiar role at the till. Well, Benj, what do you think about your likeness in the picture? Well, it's not bad. It's, uh... I haven't got a beard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you've been relegated to the alley at the outer edge of the picture? I thought I was an afterthought, that's all right. <laughs> that could do with your non-Victorian hairstyle? I think it could be something to do with that, yeah. Well, I think I look, look a little bit like my mother, actually. <laughs> How do you feel about being depicted as a Victorian gentleman? Well, I am, almost. <laughs> I think it's an absolutely, uh, I think it's an absolutely splendid mural of the uh, chaps. I think it's come through uh, very well, very well. Have you had any sort of protest from people who've been left out? Fortunately, there's one chap with his back uh, to the thing, and everybody who asks, you know, well, that's, that's you, and that's why the hair isn't uh, fully defined. <laughs> the mural took professional artist Tim Hawes two weeks, and the scene was taken from a drawing made in about 1860. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's sort of... I mean, it fixed you down at the pub. But over at Cookfield in Sussex, they don't mind a bit. At the 150-year-old King's Head pub in the town centre, most of the regulars are now immortalised in a painting on the pub wall. Andy Webb went down to take a look. Once, the main London to Brighton road ran past the front door. Now, instead of coach passengers, you find the usual pub crowd enjoying a drink inside. It was a drawing from the 1860s, which had hung in the bar for years, which inspired a local artist friend of the landlords to produce a rather updated 100-square-foot version, each of the 19 original figures, now a recognisable regular. To paint, it took exactly two weeks, in fact. It took four weeks getting the board and marking it all out, uh, but the actual painting itself was just two weeks. Was it difficult to do in situ up there? It was very difficult, uh, especially as people kept buying me beers all the time. <laughs> Michelangelo did it on his back, I did, but, uh, but not when I was painting, you see what I mean? <laughs> now, I know they're all regulars, and we've got a few in here today, haven't we? Let's have a closer look at some of those. Well, we've got Jay, he's the uh, slightly chubby fellow with blonde hair and the blue coat in the middle. And there's Tom, who's carrying the trunk. There's Martin standing there, who's got his head on the side to everybody. Oh, he's the landlord, isn't he? He's the landlord, yes. He uh, deserved a pride of place, if you see what I mean. Then we've got uh, myself standing there. I thought I'd better put me in, of course, my wife. You look a little bit different. Uh, yes, I've had a haircut since then. Mm. Getting a bit long for 1984. What kind of a reaction from the people? Do they, are they considered good likenesses? Yes, people are pretty pleased with them. So far, everyone seems happy with what might have been a rather sideways compliment. Everyone who's expressed an opinion, that is. Ew! It's rather nice idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely.